Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here's an updated video on how you can watch Crunchyroll on MPV for MPVacious mining. Some things have changed and the previous method is not going to work, so you're going to need to see today's video. So let's go ahead and jump into the installation. And if you already have MPV installed, just go ahead and jump to the point to where I download YouTube DLP. Okay, so either go to the links down below in the description or follow along here. So you're going to search up MPV, go to mpv.io installation up here and then go to source forge if you're on windows um and i'm going to be showing you how to do windows note if you do any of this stuff i'm not at fault for anything that may happen to your device but i can always come help you out if you have troubles in my discord so go join that down in the description below but anyways click into the 64-bit folder on the source forge page then scroll to the scroll down to the top one and then you're just going to download this. It's going to automatically download and download it to a folder where you can access. Okay, so I lost this clip somewhere, but go ahead, find where you downloaded the folder and you're going to see that it's in the folder. And then you're going to notice that you may not be able to open it. So you're going to need to download a software to do so. And if you don't have it installed, just go ahead, click on it, uh, open with, go to search the Microsoft store, scroll down until you see this purple nine zip and then just go ahead and install it right here there should be an install open install button once you have that just go ahead and uh, go back into the file browser where you downloaded it and then you should be able to double click it and it'll open it up in um in here so now that you have this open go ahead and select them all so i'm just clicking the bottom holding shift and pressing dock click extract all and what you're going to want to do is select the folder to extract it into so I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my downloads folder and once I'm in that downloads folder go ahead and right click and click new you're gonna do folder you're gonna name this MPV all lowercase doesn't really matter uh, but name it MPV double click into it and then you will click select folder down here so once that's done um, processing it's gonna extract everything and then you can go ahead and close 9-zip and then you're gonna want to just open up that file browser again uh, go ahead, delete the 7z. You don't even need that anymore. And then double click into MPV folder and you should have these files here as on my screen. So what you're going to do here is you're going to run the updater.bat to get YouTube DLP, which is what you're going to need for the country rule to work on MPV. And this may work. Uh, this may or may not work on your first try. So we're going to see if it works on the first try. But if it doesn't work, then you just run it again as administrator. So let's go ahead and right click the updater.bat. The updater yes if this is going to pop up i'm going to go ahead and select one for weekly it's going to go ahead and download mpv to quote unquote update it but we already have the latest version so um, now it's going to download 7z so that it can extract it and then you're going to want to delete it so to do that once it's done with this go ahead and click y and now it's going to ask youtube dlp doesn't exist proceed with downloading yes press y we're going to want the first one so youtube dlp press one it's going to download youtube dlp then it's going to ask if i want ffmpeg yes doesn't hurt to have ffmpeg um and then after that it's going to be done and it's going to automatically close after that bat file so now you have everything that you need for the most part to run uh mpv or to run country rule on mpv and we're going to do that just now but before you do that Go ahead, go over to your MPV folder. You're going to go ahead and cut, right click, cut. Then you're going to go to this PC, double click into your, uh, your C drive. And then you're going to want to go into your programs file. And then you're going to want to right click and click paste. And yes, you're going to need administrator permission to move this folder. Just go ahead and click continue. And then it's going to move that MPV folder into uh, your program files. So this is my, my MPV restore. This is what I'm going to restore back to after the video. But here's the fresh installation of MPV. Let's go ahead, double click into it. And um, this is going to be where MPV is located. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add it to your path variables so that uh, the system can actually see it. So go ahead and go down to your search down here. Go ahead, type in environment environment and edit the system environment then you're going to want to go to environment variables down here on the bottom and then you're going to go going to want to click path right here on the top area and then you're going to want to click edit so to um, add mpv into your path your environment variable um, you're going to go back and click into the file browser so just go ahead click it you're going to uh, right click mpv up here copy address and then you're going to go into the 
edit environment variable window here. Click new, right click, paste, and then you're gonna click enter. So I already have one, so I'm gonna delete it. I don't need it. Um, and after this, go ahead and now restart your computer. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that you have restarted your computer now that you're back. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is open up the file browser once again and click on this top bar here. It's gonna highlight blue and then type percent app data percent. And that's gonna bring you to your roaming folder, as you can see, app data roaming. And inside of here, you're going to want to uh, create an MPV folder. If you don't have one already, I already have one. So I'm going to double click into it. And then uh, yours will normally look like look like this. It'll be it'll be pretty simple. It'll have a scripts input configuration and MPV configuration. It might not even have those, um, but you can always create them. So if you have nothing, if you just created the folder, go ahead and right click, click new folder name scripts I'm not gonna do it because I have one so you'll now have a scripts folder for your MP Vacious um, and the scripts folder you're gonna need for MP Vacious and I have a video down in the description below on how you can install MP Vacious it's generally a little bit older but it's still got all the necessary things you need for it um, and then yeah so it's gonna have scripts input configuration MPV configuration so the important one is going to be MPV configuration so Let's go ahead and jump into that folder, um, that file. So if you don't have it, go ahead, click, uh, right click, new, and then go down to text document. You're gonna open, uh, create a text. You're gonna do mpv.con, c-o-n-f, and you're gonna name it like that. I'm not gonna do it because I have one. Once you do that, go ahead, double click into it. And so, um, you know, I've got a bunch of things in here the, that are in my, my, Oops, sorry, I realize you can't see it. And so inside of this MPV configuration, I have a bunch of things that uh, that you don't necessarily need, um, but this is set up in other videos. I'm gonna show you what you do need for Crunchyroll though. And before that, I actually forgot one thing, you do need this Google Chrome extension and we're gonna need to grab the cookies from Crunchyroll. So go ahead and click the description link down below. Um, it's gonna download this getcookies.txt. And I'm going to show you how to get your texts or your, your cookies. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you finished downloading it. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a regular non-incognito window here and log in. So the reason that we're logging in is we want to skip the CAPTCHA um, that's that's in when, when you log in so that we don't get stuck on that in MPV. So what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and open up all your extensions. Click getcookies.txt. And then you're going to click this export um, this export button. It doesn't really matter where you put it. I put mine in my you know my downloads folder, um, as you can see. And then I do cookies underscore cr dot text that txt. That cr stands for country rule. And then you just go ahead and uh, save. So I'm not gonna resave mine, but you'll go ahead and save that there. Then what you're gonna want to do is open up your file browser. And where you have it downloaded, go ahead and uh, click properties. You're going to go ahead and highlight over the locations. Go ahead, copy. And then what you're going to want to do is go back into your app data folder. So uh, you can leave this this properties window open. So go ahead and type in percent app data percent. And now I'm going to head, go ahead and reopen this final browser here. Go into MPV. Uh, you're going to click on your MPV dot configuration. I'm going to go into this example video file. I'm going to drag it in so you can see it. And what you're going to want to do is, is just go ahead and paste it. Uh, go ahead, do a space afterwards. And then um, you're going to enter in what I input here. So YouTube, uh, let's see, DL raw options equals cookies equals and then what you're going to do is just go and and uh, cut paste YouTube DL dash raw that dash options equals cookies equals uh, this what we just pasted and then you're going to do forward slash cookies underscore CR dot TXT 
as that's what I have uh, the name of it here. So you could even just copy and then paste. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and go to file, save, and you should be good to go. So once you have that saved in here, um, now we should be able to just go ahead and drag and drop into MPV. So I'm going to go ahead and open up MPV here. I'll go ahead and show you how you can do that. So let's just go back into here. Let's click this PC, go to your C drive, program files, go into MPV. And then here's your exe so you can go ahead and just click it and i like to pin mine to taskbar which is here so you can go ahead and just pin it to your taskbar uh, you can double click and open it here whatever floats your boat i have mine here open so let's go ahead and drag and drop uh premium anime classroom of the elite it's being released this summer drag and drop and i should be able to see it play and uh and that's it i'm not gonna play it because it will play i just don't want to do any spoilers and uh, you can continue along with Crunchyroll as you would for sentence mining and if you want to see that sentence mining flow you can go check out the other videos on the Crunchyroll theme i have several videos on my channel about that but i'm gonna show you how you can do a little bit of uh troubleshooting here so okay so you're dragging it into MPV and it's just closing. So now we don't even know what the heck to start from. I always like to go to the command prompt. So if you go down to search CMD command prompt, um, you'll open up with this. What I like to do is always start off with MPV. And then what I will do now is uh, grab a URL and paste it. And so in this case for me, it opens back it opened back up um, because I had previously opened it and I have all the cookies and I have everything properly set up but let's just go ahead and uh, let me show you a case where it's not properly set up okay so here's my actual MPV configuration file remember you can always reach this by doing percent app data percent um, and finding your MPV folder and your configuration file um, I'm gonna go ahead and add a down a load so I'm gonna go ahead file save and we're gonna go ahead and run the exact same um, uh, command so MPV and then the URL and so what's gonna end up happening is now it doesn't think I'm logged in it says Crunchyroll blah 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 sample clip to watch full video start a free trial today so this is a way that you can troubleshoot whether or where in the stage that you are that it's uh, not working so it's not seeing where my cookies file is um, as you can see file not found error right here and it thinks i'm a non-premium member as you can see this is a sample clip to watch the full video blah 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 so let's go ahead and refix that file um save let's go ahead rerun that and it's gonna it's gonna restart back up as normal as you can see it popped up and it's playing and so really that's all you're going to really see if you're using this method and uh, the easiest way you can always just figure out where in the stage that it's messing up in is mpv enter the url and then you'll see what uh what it's what's not happening and uh, of course if, you, if you're new to all of this it's going to be a little bit hard to troubleshoot um where you can come hop in the discord where i can help you out with that as well one thing that happens is the software that you're using is out of date so um as of today uh july 25th at the july 25th uh it may have a different software version and you're just going to need to update it so as we did earlier you're going to go ahead and go back into your um your c drive uh, remember where you had your mpv folder um you're just going to go ahead and uh run that updater.bat and go ahead just run as administrator and uh you know periodically update your mpv so all of the softwares that you need are up to date so and so that's it for today's video. If it helped you, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Come join the Discord if you have any technical problems. And as always, good luck in your studies out there, and I'll see you again later.